It is a commitment edition of the recruiting roundup. Be very busy time of year here in the state of Arizona as some of the top players are continuing to make their commitments maybe a little bit quicker than they anticipated but that is certainly the case where so many talented players making their pledges. I'm Jordan Ham, and now joined by Desert Edge wide receiver Andrew Patterson. Andrew's ready to make his commitment. Andrew, go ahead. Let us know where you're headed. I will be heading to Montana State University. Congratulations. Why Montana State? The coaches there, they've built a they built a system that I really like. The head coaches, the head coach and all the other coaches aren't just about themselves and the team being better. They're about turning their players into young men and they actually built the stepping stools into showing them what it becomes to be a man. And I really like the way that the head coach took his time out of his day. He was talking to me all the time. Not just the receiver coach, but all the other position coaches as far as the offensive coordinator, the running backs coach, D B coach, all all the coaches were getting in contact with me and sending me letters, asking me how I was doing all the time, always wondering what I was doing and what I was doing to get better. And now, and you, you know, were so productive as a wide receiver, as a defensive back. Where do they see you fitting uh, within their schemes? They see me fitting in as a outside player and an inside slot position. Okay, and what, what skills do they like about your game, you know, when they were giving you feedback on your film about, you know, how you could stand out within that offense? The main thing that – the first thing that they brought to my mind that they said they liked about me a lot was my potential to make a play after the ball was in my hands. So they liked how I was really diverse with the ball and how I could always make a play when the ball was in my hands, how I could never catch a pass and not gain any yards after the catch. They liked how I could run after the catch. And Montana State, they, they were one of the ones that were in on you early. Um, you know, how has that relationship, um, you know, progressed over the past, what, four or five months now? And uh, how have you been able to um, really, I, I guess, you know, it, obviously with the, the off season being what it was and everything virtually, how did that change once everything had to go remote, um, you know, where you could still have and build that relationship with them? Yeah, so my relationship – was mainly with Coach Frazier, was the receivers coach. He got in contact with me early, and he told me he, we built a relationship probably a month or two before he had given me the offer because he wanted to let me know, like, he wasn't just going to throw an offer on the table and give me an offer. He wanted to get to know me as well, but he said he already knew I had the football talents. It was just about getting to know me as a person. With everything going on as far as the corona shutting down, I had plans to go out there for an official visit and an unofficial visit, and he was telling me, as far as everything going on, that they they're not going to know when they're able to get any kids down to come see the campus at all. But because they have such low numbers of corona, me and the coach were still able to keep the connection that we had and build an even stronger connection with each other. And I was able to get to the campus with uh, admissions to go look at the campus with the admissions director because they have close to a thousand cases out there. And what was your first impression when you, you got out to campus and, and got to see it? When I got out there, I was just like, wow, it was nothing like Arizona. It was something new and it, was, it wasn't a bad new, it was a good new. I got out there, everything was just so green. It was kind of like me going up to Flagstaff, mm -hmm. but still a lot more green. And a lot of the, the city is in one area. So it's really kind of like a college town. And that whole town, from when I was out there in my three days, that whole town is all about Montana State. Mm -hmm. I was just walking around town myself and a lot of the a lot of people were stopping me asking me what am, what am I here for I'm a new face around town they've never seen me before and I they I told them I was here for a visit to Montana to come visit and see the campus and they told me they hoped I really liked it a lot they were telling me places to go to in Montana places to visit and it was just very welcoming with Desert Edge you know you you guys are a tight-knit community over there, I always see, you know, everybody on social media kind of like hyping each other up and, you know, you know, uh, you know, really supporting each other. Um, you know, even, you know, the past couple of years with Coach Lucero, now with the, the Carter twins, um, you know, how has Desert Edge helped you get to where you are today? Desert Edge has helped me a lot. Desert Edge has helped me a lot, turned me into the bad decisions I made, telling me that those decisions aren't the best decisions and telling me to grow from that, helping, helping me grow from that showing me in the right steps, sitting down with my coaches, talking to my coaches, telling me what I need to do to become a better player, better man for myself, a better son to my mom and my dad, 
telling me when I'm doing things wrong with my parents, I go and I tell my coaches about it and they give me feedback on how to do or what to do in that next situation. The Carter twins already have done so much to help turn this team into a better team and help us show, show what it means to be men for ourselves. My, he's called me a couple of times telling me, I want you to be a leader for this team. You're doing this wrong and this wrong. Can you please fix this and do this better to become a leader for the team? And they've only been here with us maybe three or four months, and they're already ready to do the things that they're going to do to take us to the championship and build on top of the legacy that they want to leave here for us, not just for themselves, but the legacy that they want to leave for our 2021 class. Mm -hmm. At the end of last year, I saw you making plays left and right. Um, we don't know necessarily when the, the 2020 season uh, would start up, but whenever it does, uh, you know, what changes do you want to make from the end of last year to, you know, that, that next game that you have? What, what are you focusing in on this offseason to make sure you're, you're growing as a person and a player? This offseason, I've worked on a lot of outside wide receiver work. Because the Carter, the Carter Twins, the offensive coordinator, he's established to me that he wants me to play a lot of outside receiver this year. Get me in a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverages because he knows not a lot of DBs in Arizona can cover me. So I've been working a lot on working on some stem releases, working on some press techniques and how to get off the press easier and better and actually using my speed. Because last year, towards the middle and the end of the season, is when I really started using my speed to my advantage. I was wasting way too much time off of the line. I was trying to make way too many moves before I got upfield. And I've just learned to trust my speed and trust what I can do. Mm -hmm. Academically, do you know you, what you want to focus on, what you want to major on, uh, you know, whenever you hang up your cleats, whenever that may be? Sports science and kinesiology. And what, what career do you want to try to pursue with that? What, what are you interested in about that in particular? Either it would be training younger athletes or – being some kind of uh, physical therapist or an athletic trainer, anything along that field. That is Andrew Patterson, and this is the Recruiting Roundup.